Hey, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Hey, stop fucking touching him before I slap the shit out your boy head ass. It tastes like sweet revenge when super corrupt cops are getting a taste of humble pie served by the very citizens they thought they could push around. Here are three cases that show exactly that. Just like this first cop who gets put in his place by a brave auditor. A law-abiding citizen inspects his own property, property and you're my servant, that's oh, my property. That's property. Everything that's on you, my property, except your personal effects. Okay. This building, my property. Okay. This vehicle, my property. You all, you, 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 every one of you work for me. In February 2024, a First Amendment rights auditor, Siberian Tiger on YouTube in Portland, Oregon, went on about a seemingly normal day to exercise his rights. But the cops can't seem to give him a break. We can observe he's doing nothing but filming a parked police trooper on a public road. But this isn't taken well by the cops inside. Uh, who are you? Huh? Who are you? You don't know who it, Are you taking close up pictures of the inside of the car? You can't do that, okay? Says who? Says me. Uh, who are you? I don't know. Well then okay, you get lost. Be, you cannot be taking pictures of the inside of these cars. Watch me. You cannot be taking pictures of the inside of the cars. Who okay. are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You come over here all big tough guy? Hey, you can't be taking pictures into the Says car. who? Says me. It's a police car, okay? And you, who are you? I'm a sergeant, okay? I'm a supervisor. Yeah? Okay, yeah. And? 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 And you can't be here. And you that. can get lost. It doesn't work that way, my friend. How does that work? Hey. What? You're going to get in my face go, like this? Go find something else. You think you're going to intimidate me? Who is intimidating you, man? You then what's the problem? I don't know. I'm wondering what the problem is with you. You can make over here all tough guy. I'm wondering what the problem is with you. you there was no problem. What am I doing? You can't be taking pictures. Of the inside Says of the who? Says me. What law? Almost immediately, the cop's ego kicks in, and he gets real close to the auditor to try and wield his power. But the auditor isn't ready to back down. Pictures of the Says of the who? Says me. What law? I don't know. Exactly. So get know. lost, tough guy. It doesn't work that way. Well, how's it gonna work? I don't know. Why don't you Where call you your know? bobbies over here? Why don't you call your lieutenant? No. Other sergeants? Can you show me out in front of the precinct with yeah? taking some pictures of inside of the police <laughs> Dumb guy. I'll take it. <laughs> what a dumb guy. <laughs> taking pictures of the yeah. inside of the vehicles that are public property. I'm on the public sidewalk taking pictures of everything that is open, visible from my eyes, mm. okay? Mm. Which is First Amendment protected activity and oh, the tough oh, guy shows up here take, and tells me I can't take pictures. Taking pictures of the inside of the car is that's... Is, oh, is that you a, too? You wanna get on my case too about taking pictures? The auditor is absolutely on the green side of the law here, which openly allows citizens to have uninterrupted access to film in public. So actually, the cop's ego is just hurt. The car is, that's... Is oh, that, you too? You want to get on my case too about taking pictures? I'll be out at uh, Watson. Dude. Dude. And you? Dude. Words? Oh. Edwards? Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something okay. like that. Okay. What are you doing taking pictures? Of what am I doing taking pictures? What's the problem you can't taking take pictures? pictures of the inside of the vehicles and the computer. What law is that? What am I breaking? I don't know. That's called private property. You can't. You that's, can't. That's you private can't, property. Come here. You can't. Come you, here, sergeant. You can't take a picture. Come here, sergeant. Come here. What it says over here? What does it say? I don't know. What does it say? You tell me. You don't know how to read? Any of you guys know how to read? He breaks down their argument in mere seconds by inquiring what the number clearly states. 
But of course, the cops turn a blind eye at that point. I was minding my own business. This guy comes over here, gets in my face, and, no, and gives me unlawful directives. So, hey, so can you understand why we may be... I don't need to understand anything. No. Well, I'm going to explain why he was concerned. Why? Okay. So we could be concerned that somebody is targeting our police vehicles or is looking inside there to see confidential information on the screen or in other things. Okay. So this is a reasonable Whose responsibility is to reasonable. protect confidential it information? Is, it is reasonable. Whose responsibility? It's it's reasonable Great. to ask. Is it your responsibility to protect confidential okay. information? Oh, sir. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So next time when a, when a law-abiding citizen inspects his own property, that's your property. and you're my servant, that's oh, my property. That's your property. Everything that's on you, my property, except your personal effects. Okay. This building, my property. Vehicle, my property. You all, you, 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 every one of you work for me. I tell you what to do, I tell you how to do it, I right? pay your wages. Is that right? That's right. How and you work? answer to how me. So when you get on my case, okay. being a law-abiding citizen, quiet, I'm not talking to you. Okay. Quiet. When, when I'm a law-abiding citizen, and you get in my face, and you start threatening me, Nobody and you call your bobbies out here, assuming that I'm a, a criminal Nobody because threatened. you intend to do something against me, guess what? What are you going to do? You're going to get a piece of my action. What are you going to do? My freedom of speech. Now you're All of us have a now lot of things we need to Get do. back to your there job. I didn't call you. Everywhere. The auditor is enough to be able to stand up to the whole pack of these corrupt peas. We are here until Who called you? are not here. So Who called you? On? What do you want? Who called you? Your Who situation, called you? your scene, your level of engagement yeah. is going to make the police be here. And I do think that's your goal. I no. literally think what you are doing is trying to create a scene to get police attention. To Ask her. Record it on Ask a camera. Ask her. I was walking down. I was on walking on a sidewalk. And have this interaction I was walking be on a sidewalk. You very online, quietly. On a YouTube channel. Whatever you think. So whatever your goals are. I don't care are, what you think. I want you to know very clearly, sir. That's right. You are taking up valuable resources that could be helpful. Helping the city. Did I call because you? Because we are focused Great. on you. Great. Here's how you can end this. So I think that's important. This is how you can end this. What do you need? Go back to your job and mind your own damn business. You need to not point your camera inside of police vehicles and record information off of our computers. According to whom? Don't do it. According to whom? That's it. According to whom? Sir. What law is that? Okay. It, it, what law is that sir. given an ORS code that tells me, okay. that tells me that I am not lawfully allowed to look at anything that my eyes can see on a public sidewalk. Okay. What law is that? We are going to leave and we understand that you are not going to point inside of cameras Unless and Unless I'm breaking the law, computers. you can take your orders You stay on public property. When they were too ignorant to answer his questions, they just decided to run back into their big towers. You stay out of a roadway. You understand? You stay out of the roadway. I'm protesting at this point, so I will stand wherever the hell I want. Have a good day, sir. Get lost. That's how you should have reacted in the first place. You come out here and you harass me, a law-abiding citizen, that's the reaction you're going to get. Servants, get lost. Sick and tired of police officers harassing law-abiding citizens every day. After fending the cops off, he proceeds to exercise his rights to record some more without the police interfering this time. It's gross to see such police misdemeanor and the level of smugness that they keep. Their fragile egos are the ones which step on ordinary citizens' rights. While our first auditor made some valid points, this next case truly served as a wake-up call for these exceptionally dumb cops. Hey, what the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, stop fucking touching him before I slap the shit out your boy in there. On July 19th, 2022, a police officer in Wisconsin stopped a couple of door dashers for speeding. But soon this cop would realize that this isn't a straightforward traffic stop right as he gets a whiff of inside the car. You roll all the windows down for me. What's going on? Why are you trying to dip out on me? 
No, 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 you pulled a U-turn real fast and pulled in here. When a yeah. cop turns their lights on, you're no, supposed to pull I, over right away. Yeah. All right? Yeah. You shouldn't be pulling to the back of a parking lot when no. someone turns their lights no, on. No, we understand that, but we was coming here anyway. So it was like, instead of holding up traffic and stopping, right we just pull right here. The customer requested you hand them okay. These citizens make their purpose for the visit clear to the officer straight off the bat. In Arkansas? No, I'll, that's where I live. Well, yeah, no, but like, I'm visiting here now. You're visiting right now? Okay. But he You don't have a Wisconsin ID? Um, it's old. Yeah. Okay. I stopped you because you're going 49 and a 30. Just so you know. Okay, you're going 19 over. Alright, is this your vehicle? Whose vehicle is this? Your big sister's? Okay. Is this your current address, Little Rock? Do you have an address up here? Nothing? You don't see the address. How long are you staying up here? I was supposed to leave. I got to college. So I was supposed to leave by the end of this month. Okay, so you're just here for the summer or something? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, hey, she said, well, you need an idea if it's a traffic stop. I'm just asking. He just asked. He was just asking. So you don't, don't need to see it? Alright, so you don't need to see it. I'm asking for it. You asking for it? Yes. But I, I don't have to show it? As the passenger, you don't have to give it to me, but I'm asking you for it. That's cool. Okay. Do you have anything here you shouldn't have? No, sir. Okay. Because it smells like marijuana. Yeah. At this point, the officer has caught on to the reason behind the rush of these door dashers. Since he senses a hint of the familiar reaper. You don't have any? Because it smells like it. You sure don't want to tell me right now? We don't. It's an ashtray, but I don't think it's Okay. Let me see. It's like nothing like using okay. Three. That's probably what it is. This is your sister's car? Yeah, this is another car. Okay. You know if anyone smoked in it recently? Uh, you know, that she, yeah, she said she did probably before we used it. That's probably why. Is that sister on the phone? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Tell her it smells like weed in here and you guys are driving it. She said smoke. Okay. Alright, why don't you step out for me? Me? Yep. Why don't all three of you come out? Gonna search the car. Leave the phone in there, sir. Step out, leave the phone. Keep your hand out of your pockets. Hey, what's his name? TJ. Listen, he said leave the phone. TJ, why you got my phone? Leave the phone in there. Why can't you have his phone? Leave the phone in there. Why can't he have his phone? Because I'm telling you, you can't right now. We're investigating something. Okay. Is that a long list? Put your phone in there right now. Put your phone in there. Put your phone in there because I'm going to search the car for marijuana. Okay, well, we're investigating something you're not allowed on the phone. Here, the officer blatantly is violating their First Amendment rights to film in public and to film a police officer. This is a serious offense, and it's the exact thing police are meant to uphold. But this ignorant and egotistical cop wants to assert his dominance, potentially even edging into racial profiling. Okay, well, we're investigating something you're not allowed on the phone. TJ, TJ, put it in there. I'm not going to ask you again. Please, it's a lawful order. So it's a lawful order that we can't have our phone. Put it in there. That's just sound dumb. Put it in there. You put your phone in there. Put the phone down. I don't care if my nigga get a phone. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm going to ask you a face on. Money up. Turn around. Turn around. No money. Stop. Stop resisting right now. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Right now! Stop resisting! I'm gonna tase you. I will tase you if you don't stop. Right, let's quickly get the not reason one in. Hey, grab my phone! Grab my phone, bro! Come on, 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 come Pulse 211, 180. Hey, sis, hey, can we record? Ain't that our right to record, my nigga? Hey, ain't hey, that our right to turn. record? Step in front of the car. Step in front of the car. Stay right here. Stay right here. Okay, okay? Money, I'm not moving. Stop resisting. Around. All right? Resist. You are. 
I'm telling you to face the car. And that's exactly what happens, with this corrupt cop escalating the situation for no good reason. He had no right to order the innocent passenger to put away his phone. Okay. He can have his phone, right? As part of the investigation. Ask a question. He can have his phone, right? Not while we're doing an investigation. That's it. It's not an investigation. Y'all put us over. It's a traffic stop. I didn't put it on. Exactly. So, bro, that's just not right. It's not right. How the fuck you turn into? We're not right. trying to do an investigation. I'm going to send you a location right now. It was just right a traffic now. stop. Even the other passengers are shocked at how this simple traffic stop had turned so aggressive. It's not his phone. The police officer just tried to take his phone for no reason. That's, that's not a law, that's not, they, they, it was a traffic stop, now they're talking about an investigation. Exactly. The car reeks of weed. He said, the person, the, the person who didn't pull us over said the car reeks of weed. Well, 513 looks like everybody's 23. I don't, we, we, in Monopoly yeah. Falls, now they having another police officer come. And it's another four. one. It's four. It's four that's cool. Hey, everybody wait, cool. Wait, what are you doing? Where are you going? Hey, hold what, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What y'all doing? Hold on. What y'all doing? Hold on. Why are you arresting him? Oh, I just got here. Okay. He's under arrest. I heard obstructing. Okay. I stopped my time. Worried for their partner and friend, the boys protest the police's way of doing things and the rights that they were crushing in the process. For backup, they also bring their sister on the phone. Now, why is he being arrested? Do you want me to explain to you yeah, what's going on? Just put your phone down. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I don't have to put my phone down. I'm put talking your phone to you. down. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to you. You really want to do you this? You just sit it up. I'm you talking to the same thing. Bro, put your phone down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't waste them. It's not a law that I have to put my phone down. You talking to me, start talking to me. You're not arresting me. You're not doing shit. Let me see. Tina, I'm going to sit the phone down. The take him to, hold on, take hold him on. to the side and hang on him over there. Whoa, Come with me. I will talk to you. Be good. Come with me. Just, I will just, talk to you. Okay, talk Who's to on me. the phone with you? I don't have to tell you that. Why are you being like this? Because it's my right. You're making this more You think you're better than me because you're a police officer? No. You came over here and you arrested him for having his phone. No, you see how dumb that's that shit sounds? Why, why is it? Why, why is he in the back of your I car? I you guys over. Why is he in the back of your car? That's you, what I'm asking. Do you want me to explain or no? Answer my question. Just talking over Answer me. my question. I'm trying to Answer talk my to you. Question. I pulled you guys over. Answer my question. The officer can do nothing but avoid the obvious problems at hand. After he's backed into a corner, he just refuses to talk or discuss anything anymore. Who's this belong to? You know it's mine. You know it's mine. You know it's mine. It's my bag. You know it's mine. This wasn't in the bag. It's cool though, it's mom. You're claiming this? Yeah. No, I'm saying it's mom. Huh? Exactly. It's who? That's how dumb you sound. Post 217, that's all. What is dumb ass? He looking at me dumb as hell. Is this yours? Yes, how many times I gotta tell you, bro? Okay. You stand up for me? It could have been hers. It could have been hers. No way, that's a bad Bro, bro, bro. I'm in front of the car. I'm in the car. The cops find some weed in one of the backpacks belonging to the passenger on the ground. This prompts the cops to take the most obvious next steps. Get up. Set it down. I'm gonna do the same. Come grab my stuff. Here, bro. Don't he grab stuff. Here. Hey, AJ! Hey, bro, grab my phone! AJ! Hey, AJ, just shut the fuck up and grab my phone! I'm gonna grab it! Stay right there! You don't Go, have to say shit! Just pick the stuff up on the grass. Bro, don't touch my phone! AJ! Bro! Hey, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Hey, stop fucking touching him before I slap the shit out your boy head ass! What the fuck? Hey, get your knee off him! Get your knee off him! Just Bro. relax. Hey, hey, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Hey! Get your fucking knee off of him before I slap this shit out you. Hey! Bro, shut the fuck! Who was you yelling at, bitch ass nigga? Who was you yelling at? Bro. Despite the passenger arguing that the police didn't have the right to search his bag without a warrant, since he wasn't the one being pulled over for breaking the speeding laws. That's who existed! The hell, my nigga? You on me, how am I resisting? Make sure they're locked. Yep. They're obviously locked. Uh, no, we got a safety lock, I'm okay. I don't worry, shit. Take a breath, hold on. Bro. Ultimately, the passengers along with the driver are arrested for possession and resisting arrest. 
These cops, as per usual, went way past their allowed abilities, clearly being biased and racially profiling this group since a couple were genuinely innocent. Just another case of basic cop negligence, but that's not the worst of the bunch. Although these cops were unpleasant, this next case will definitely show how awful some can get. There's no lawful obligation to answer your questions, yes, asshole. You are, you not, you not, I am? What law? Cite the law that I'm obligated to answer your you're questions. Not, you're not, cite it. Not, Set the fuck up and cite it. In this case, Sean Thomas, an auditor, was delivering four affidavits to an NY police deputy. When he approaches the department, the first time he's only questioned by an officer, Diaz. <laughs> Uh, Just a question, I'm not sure, that's how I can put it in my lap. Uh -huh. Are you working for, for someone in the department or something? No. Because I don't want to open the envelope. They're open. They're all open. So you want me to just They're, not, they're not sealed. Yeah, you can. Okay. Can all I right. have your name? Just a question. You could take my shield number if you like. Two, six. I'll give you my card. Okay, thanks. Do you mind giving me your name just so that I can put a name to it? Uh, Randall. Randall? R-A-N-D-A-L-L. -L. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Here, obviously, the police have no issue with an unsealed envelope being left in this way. But Sean has to return two months later to do the same task. Except this time, it goes horribly wrong, and for all the wrong reasons. Yo, come over here, man. Yo, get your hands come on. off. Come, come on. on. Hold on, who are you? Come who on. are you? I'm a cop, too. A cop. Oh, I'm Identify a cop too. yourself. He's a cop. I'm telling Identify you. Identify yourself. We're all cops here. We're all cops here. Get your hands off of me. Don't do that. You, you, we'll pull you through. Yeah, right. put me through, put me put through. through, put me put through. through. We'll see how that works out. As he's leaving this time, he's stopped by a man in plain clothes who even goes as far as grabbing his arm, telling him to stop even though nobody told Sean to stop. Yo, come over here, man. Yo, get your hands come off on. Come on. Hold on, who are you? Come who on. are you? I'm a cop too. A cop. Oh, I'm identify a cop too. yourself. He's a cop, I'm telling identify you. Identify yourself. We're all cops here, we're all cops here. Get your hands off of me. Don't do that, you, you, we'll pull you through. Yeah, right. put me through, put me put through. through, put me put through. through. We'll see how that works out. All these plainclothes men turned out to be all cops, and they proceed to drag him back inside the PD. You sit down, man. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sitting boy. down. What's I'm not sitting down. That's right. Put me in cuffs. Okay, put me in cuffs. Yeah, what's going on? You're delivering. Put me in cuffs. You the sergeant? Yeah. You have, you have a. Uh, Listen, put your hands down. Don't you fucking point at him. You have an obligation to intervene. You, you have an affirmative cuffs. obligation okay. there. You got a crime? You, you, you got a crime? I don't know what you handed me. You have an obligation. I don't you know what you handed me. Do you have a crime? Wait, so you don't know if you have a crime. So you don't know. That's not a reason to detain somebody. Why are you handing him? Well, identification on everyone. Yeah, it's fine. It's, everything's here. Every, like to identification, to you. identification on everyone. You will. Everybody got a card, especially you, big man. Okay. What, what's in there? We need to know. I'm not answering questions. Figure it out. Open it up and read it. You work for a delivery company? I just said I don't answer questions. Mm -hmm. I just said I don't answer you questions. Me a I don't care. I said I don't answer questions. It's not sealed. Don't Open it. We don't know what this Open it. We don't know it's, what this it's not sealed. That's, that's not one. how you do things. Oh, yeah? Well, we're going to see how things are done. I want everybody's card. Don't worry. You have mine. And okay. I want yours, 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 everybody. yours, yours, everybody. yours everybody. Stay still. Just stay and still. yours. Stay still. You have everybody. You have everybody. You have everybody. Okay. So you know there's a body on cameras being recorded. Okay? Great. I'm, recorded. I'm glad. I'm glad. Good. Good. The sergeant asks for cooperation, and all the auditor is simply asking is to slide out the contents of the unsealed envelope. Give me the suspicion of the crime. You handed me I actually you. search. Yeah. Sir, okay, yeah, so yeah, sir we got to check your pockets. Hold on, you, you don't have to say, search yes, my pockets. Yes, yes, it's a Fourth now. Amendment violation. Yes. I'm yes, in your yes, custody. In I'm in your uh, custody, unlawfully you know in your you custody. You know and you have an obligation to intervene. You're I'm personally liable. You who you are. I don't give a shit who you, what you're asking. What obligation am I under to answer your questions? You what lawful obligation? Package, what lawful you're obligation am package, I under sir. to answer your question? You, you throw this up here. We I don't care. Th and that gives but you what? And that gives you what? So here. open it. I don't open know it. what's in there. Open it. I don't know what's in there. All right? So we don't know what's in here. We're asking you what it is. You are the one bringing this here. That's right. Exactly. So That's what, right. What are you bringing here? We ask the questions here because you came into our I'm place. I'm under no lawful obligation to answer your questions, asshole. You are, because you're not, you're not. I am? What law? Cite the law that I'm obligated to answer your you're questions. Not, you're not. Cite it. I, Shut the fuck up and cite it. The cops show further disregard for Sean's rights as they perform an unlawful search. 
basically bypassing his Fourth Amendment rights. Bring me a package, sir. I don't know who you are. this up here. I don't care. That, and that gives well, you we do up. care. And that because we have our safety. So open it. I don't know what's in there. Open it. I don't know what's in there. All right? So we don't know what's in here. We're asking you what it is. You are the one bringing this here. That's right. Exactly. So That's what, right. Why are you bringing here? We ask the questions here because you came into our I'm place. I'm under no lawful obligation to answer your questions. Because you, you're obvious. You're not, you're not I am? What law? Cite the law that I'm obligated to answer your questions. Cite it. Cite the fuck up and cite it. I'll tell you, it's simple. You brought this here? Yeah. We need to know what it is. Okay, fine. What crime have I committed? Huh? From the second angle, we are able to visibly see the officers touching the packet multiple times indicating very easily to anybody that it only contains paper. It could be excusable if it wasn't for the officer tapping on it on two separate points. That's not how it you works. You, you don't detain sir. somebody and then go on a fishing expedition. Sir, you, you, uh, can't, uh, you can't just drop a package here and walk out and don't want to answer anything. We got yeah, no well, I tell you what, north. you better have a crime. You better have a crime and your asses on the line. line. You better have a we crime and your asses on the you line. Are, you, you refuse. I'm under no obligation to answer your question. You what lawful no obligation am I under? What, what lawful obligation here. am I under to answer your sir, question? You have a lawful package. I concede no, that. No, okay. what lawful Who obligation am I under to answer your question? You want me to accept the packet? Who are you? What lawful obligation am That's I not under to answer your question? Safety. I don't know what's this. What, what is this? What is this? Despite Sean's efforts, the officers pay no heed to his question. And even more confusingly, they still are too scared to look inside the already opened envelope. Sir, what is this? What open, is this? Open it. I'm not going to open it. I don't know what is it. Where's your ID that you're a delivery person? What obligation am I under the... You're, you're, you're supposed to have your ID. If you're a delivery sir, person, you're supposed to expose your ID. You're lawful search and seizure. You're party to it. If you, if your you, ass is out. It's all right. This is, who's this? As long as you say you, it's all right. So do you have any cash on you? Where's your ID as a delivery person? Where's your ID? You have a, del uh, a delivery ID that you work for a company that you delivery package? I want to see that ID. And I want to call your company and see I who you are. I do not consent to searches and seizures. This is against my will. Sean, visibly defeated at this point, can do nothing but wait for these officers to come into their senses. Just to put the icing on the cake, these backward and thick officers decide that the best action would be to shut Sean in a holding cell. Although Sean did take the first blow, these cops gloated only for a little while over their so-called victory. Sean filed a complaint against them for invasion of privacy and stolen items from his bag, including cash and his camera. Eventually, he ended up winning $12.9 for the abuse he faced through the hands of these corrupt cops. Do you think that was a win for Sean? And should corrupt cops be dealt with a heavier punishment through which they actually learn their lesson? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video if you haven't already. This is Detective Mystery, signing off. Three.